everyone and welcome. This is Melissa with the stockswoosh.com and I thought I would do review of the market. I was on holiday last week for the vacation for the July 4th, although I did trade one day last week and I pretty much just really didn't look at the market that much last week. Today's Wednesday. I did look at the market this week, uh, but you know what's interesting? Okay, let's just talk about it here. So what happened in the last week? Well, the market did fall a lot this day. It was the 29th. So the market gapped down and it was a short on the day. But this didn't break the chart of the market. But you could have shorted the market that day and made money. It fell and it pretty much power trended after the rally it had in the morning. It was, would have been really aggressive to do that. You would have had to get this at the right place. And if you didn't, then you wouldn't have gotten the short. It set up very, you would have had to be aggressive. And that's the only way that I can describe that. We held in here, this is all over the holiday, like right in the holiday days. Didn't really go anywhere, didn't really go anywhere. Gap down here and I felt that this day the market was long, it was. We gapped up yesterday, but really not in a good placement to really have the follow through. And then we fell. And then we got bought aggressively into the close. And even I was like, hmm, that was interesting because I had to be talk that day about the market in the room yesterday morning, that the market was still higher. And then we did this rally into the close. Then this morning we gapped down. Okay, now all this stuff has been happening at Greece and whatnot. Then on top of everything else, this afternoon, again, I trade only in the morning. I don't trade in the afternoon, but the market was halted then in the SPY this afternoon, which is interesting because, you know, the funny thing is, yeah, I mean, the interesting thing is that, let me just see here. It's just so interesting because all the things that have ever happened, like the weird things, like the fat finger day when the market fell off a planet back a couple of years ago. Let me see if I can find it. The, the halt today. There was another day, like there was a circuit breaker issue. I don't even remember when that was. I, I've traded now for seven years. The days seem, the years seem to run together, but... It always happens in the afternoon. It never happens in the morning. <clears throat> so, you know, I never get caught in any of these things because I'm never trading at the times when any of the crazy things happen. And the crazy things always happen in the afternoon. Where the heck? It was May. It was May of 2012, I think, wasn't it? No, I think I traded like in November. In 2010 it was. Hold on. I'm looking for the fat finger fall off day. I know it was May, though, because that must have been 2010. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. This, this thing here, if anyone was trading here, I, I remember this day, but again, I was flat. But if you were in a short, <laughs> you had to be dropping something, but this was May 6, 2010. That happened in the afternoon. It was after 1 o'clock. I think it was like 1 15, 1 30, something. I remember. I, I remember watching it, okay? Anyways, the point is that a lot of these things occur the weird things that occur happen in the afternoon. So as far as being a gap trader, I'm again, the best thing you can do to protect yourself and to be the least amount of risk is being a trade for the least amount of time, which I do, and I do well, and I do it in the morning. And I never get caught in these crazy things like today because you were in a trade today when the market halted. You were, you know, had to wait till it reopened. And whatever it opens at, whatever price it opens at, you're in the trade, you're in it. You know what I mean? So I will say that was an interesting thing to happen today, despite the fact that now we're falling. This, this is a negative effect here of what just transpired in the last few hours because nobody knows why it happened yet, whether or not it'll come out the real reason. Who knows? I don't think we ever got an answer on the fat finger thing back from 2010 and it's 2015. But you do know that when you trade in an electronic environment like we do every day, if you're an active day trader, that anything can happen, Okay. You're dealing with computers, you're dealing with machines. When I send the order to the market to put me in a trade and put a stop in and get out, we're relying on systems and processes to work correctly. And sometimes there are glitches, sometimes things happen. Sometimes things happen unexpectedly and out of control. It's, it's just, this is what the environment that we live in, okay? So keep that in mind when you do these things. But again, I trade in the afternoon, I'm in and out quickly, and so I never get caught in this stuff. Anyways, getting back to it, the market fell in the queues today, rallied yesterday. 
I have no idea where we gap tomorrow morning. We could see follow through and a gap down tomorrow morning of this stuff. If we gap down tomorrow morning, then we're probably going to hold. If we gap up, it'll, it'll be harder for us to hold. Unless we gap up significantly, in which case we could really rally. We're going to have to get ourselves out of this situation in probably a gap. I just don't know if that's going to happen this week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we only have two more days left really of trading this week until, until the end of the week. So I, nothing significant might happen until next week, really. You know, remember a lot of people are on vacation this week that took the fourth because it happened to fall over a weekend. That took Some people took last week off. Some people took this week off. Either way, the market is not as active this week as it was, you know, back in June. And it, the market will be very active starting next week. And earnings season starts tonight. So be careful if you trade this week. Be picky, all right? The, the market's really sloppy in here. Do I think it's still higher, though? Yes. Do you have 100% conviction it's higher? Yes. Do I think we're going to make a new high this week? No. Do I think we're going to even hold this week correctly long? I don't know. All right. I really have to wait to see where we gap in the next two days in the morning, literally in the pre-market, not overnight, in the morning, and then go from there. It could take us a couple of weeks to get out of the situation because people are gaining conviction that the market's lower, but I'm here to tell you it's not. I gave a lecture about this in more thorough depth yesterday in the room. The market is higher. Absolutely, and we'll make another new high, but I don't know when that's going to happen, okay? It's not going to happen this week, though. And even if we get up here again in July, we may not get up over the high there. So I don't know when this situation happens. But if you're looking at the entire year of 2015, well, now let's just go back to February. If you're looking at February, March, April, May, June, for five solid months going into six, the market has been, you could say, sideways. Now, I would say bullish for the trend in the market, but you, I couldn't fault you for saying sideways. It's really bullish. Or you could say bullish slash neutral. I'd say bullish. But if you said sideways, I couldn't fault you for that. But I'm telling you right now, people, the market is not in a downtrend. And for people that are short the market overnight or think it's lower, it's not. Trust me when I say I'm very good at reading price action and trends and institutional positioning in the market. We are having an effect here that is not going to last indefinitely. Okay, so keep that in mind. The market is not lower in the bigger picture here. It's higher. Could we still be a little bit lower in here and slop around? Yes. But I won't even know until I see where we gap tomorrow morning. Be careful. This is tricky. It looks like it's lower, but it's not. And how do I know? Because I know how to read gaps. So if you want to learn the Golden Gap rating system, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I have a class this weekend, July 11th and 12th. If you want to learn how to trade with me this earnings season and trade in the room, and get my calls, and it's going to be a really good summer. July and August are going to be great months. And you know what? If the market pulls in even more, I'm not going to sweat a bullet about it. I'll be shorting the things I like to short, and we'll get the downward moves in the market, and I'll go with it. Because we could do that, be again, before we make another new high. We're still higher in the overall picture, and even this year, I'm saying. But I don't know if it happens in July. So July could be more bearish than bullish, which is fine with me because I like to short. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information or want to sign up for the Golden Gap class this weekend. Thanks, everyone.